Hello and welcome to an episode of Fully Charged Plus, a little news update because something quite big happened earlier this week. Uh, Volkswagen held a two-hour online kind of press launch update uh, on their plans for their electric future. This is a quote from uh, the VW Group CEO Herbert Dies. Our transformation will be fast. It will be unprecedented, he said. The transformation will be bigger than anything the industry has seen in the last century. That's quite big words, isn't it, really, for a massive company like Volkswagen. So what they said is, starting in 2023, a unified prismatic cell design of its batteries will be used across all their various brands, Audi, Skoda, Seat, etc. Now, they're aiming to have it powering up to 80% of their electric vehicle fleet by 2030. And VW aims to reduce the cost of these new cells with a more efficient production and conclusive recycling process. So they want to use the materials in their batteries again, which makes a lot of sense. Aiming to get the prices down by 50%, which will take the cost per kilowatt hour of a battery to well under $100. And that everyone now understands and everyone now deals with and believes is the tipping point that will make electric cars much cheaper to manufacture than uh, combustion cars. They're going to build gigafactories in Europe. So they're announcing uh, three at the moment, uh, uh, one in Salzgitter in Germany and one in Skelleftia, Skelleftia in Sweden. I know I got that wrong. Hate me for it if you're Swedish or Tell me how to say it. And a third, they're going to build a third one in Europe. Now, I don't want to make any political comment about that, but all I know is it's not going to be in the UK. It's probably going to be in either Portugal or Spain. Uh, it's going to be somewhere in Southern Europe. Um, anyway, that's all we know at the moment. They highlighted Spain and Portugal on the map. Uh, what they're t- intending to produce is a capacity of 240 gigawatt hours of batteries a year. So... That is a lot. And now I've seen some commentators say that is still less than the uh, one of the Tesla gigafactories does. But I, I, I don't know about those figures. It sounds like a lot of batteries to me. It doesn't sound like they're making a compliance car. We'll make six of these electric cars and only lease them in, in uh, California. No. Uh, Swedish battery maker Northvolt is said to have received an order from Volkswagen worth $14 billion dollars which is quite good news for Northvolt. And we're going to be uh, hearing a lot more about what Northvolt are up to very soon on the main channel. Uh, They're also funding 18,000 public charges by 2025. They're in partnerships with BP, NL and... uh, I'm going to say this one. Iberadroller. Iberadroller. I know, not Iberadroller. (laughs) Iberadroller. Three companies... This was not the most thrilling, razzmatazz, showbiz presentation. It was very functional. It was full of data. It was full of information. It was in English, but it was done by lots of Germans who are very well educated and can speak English perfectly. It wasn't the most thrilling thing, but this caught my ear and eye. They're going to start building into Volkswagen cars bi-directional charging, vehicle to grid or vehicle to home. This is really, really important. And they're confident enough with their battery technology to make that a possibility because here's a very quick explanation of that, why it's a good idea. Uh, I'll just use myself as, as an example. There are two electric cars parked in my house right now. Neither of them are doing anything. No one's driving them. No one's even polishing or buffing them. They're completely ignored. They're dormant. They're doing nothing. They have enormous battery capacity in them that's doing nothing. If I could connect that battery capacity to my home, I could be charging off solar power at the moment and using that electricity later in the day. Anyone with an electric car that can connect it to their home can take huge advantage of fluctuating power costs. Really, really, and also back up on the grid. It's a really simple thing. My one car that has V to G or one battery that can feed into the grid is of no consequence whatsoever. A million cars starts to make a big impression. 10 million cars and you don't need to build dozens of gas, nuclear or coal burning power plants. You don't need them. We need less generating capacity, not more, if we have massive electrical storage, which is which is what electric cars are. They're batteries on wheels. Anyway, 
The 2022 MEB platform will support bi-directional charging. This is what they said. This will allow green electricity from solar energy systems and wind to be stored in the vehicle and fed back into the home network if needed. That's what they said about this. Not only will customers be more independent of the public power grid, they will also save money and reduce CO2 emissions. So that is very, very good. Volkswagen are also going to offer home energy storage solutions, i.e. batteries that you fix to your wall. Um, so, you know, you can uh, people, there's going to be people who are critical of Volkswagen. And, and there's plenty to be critical of Volkswagen about. But I don't think this is it. OK, they're behind the curve. They're now saying we'll do batteries when people have had batteries in their houses made by other companies for years. Uh, and they're now going to do vehicle to grid, which a lot of people aren't doing. Only Nissan so far have done it with the Leaf. You know, so there are some really interesting uh, moves forward here. So it was fairly comprehensive. As always, presentations are easy. Actually carrying out these plans is much, much harder. But as they already, they are already in the process of building their first gigafactory in Germany. They've broken the ground on it. It's next to one of their factories. It's going to be huge. They are definitely determined to make this work. And they kind of need to, along with every other legacy car maker on the planet. Anyway, that's all. Just wanted to do a quick update of that. Uh, I'll take, you know, if I wore a hat, I'd take it off of Volkswagen for making this leap and making this commitment. I think it's a good thing. Other people may disagree with me, but that's what the world is all about. We need to disagree with each other in a calm and rational way. <laughs> Sorry, I've shut up. If you have been, thank you for watching.